find ourselves in Estremadura, one of Spain's autonomous communities situated in the southwest of the Iberian Peninsula, where we can see the middle stretch of the river Guadiana, which winds around irrigating land that is thousands of years old. Although the first regulation and canalization works in this basin were carried out in the first century during the Roman colonization, the irrigation of the meadows around the Guadiana were only realized 50 years ago. For example, only 4,000 hectares were irrigated in the province of Badajoz at the start of the 20th century. Until the middle of the last century, the land was distributed in Latifundia, large estates that belonged to a handful of families whose mentality, purely rentist, was opposed to the idea of investment, innovation and development. Moreover, it could be said that social relations in Estimadura's farming world still showed marked feudal overtones. The scene was that of large latifundias with vast uncultivated areas, widespread seasonal unemployment amongst day labourers and ploughmen, and the situation of poverty amongst the population, elements that were a breeding ground for social confrontation. Due to this, various governments contemplated the need of an agrarian reform to distribute the land and improve the infrastructures. Two of the various nationwide plans that proposed the development of irrigation system in Estimadura were the Gasset Plan, 1902, inspired by the ideas of Walking Costa and that of Lorenzo Pardo, 1931-1933. During the period of the Second Republic, 1931-1936, works considered in these plans were started, such as the Sihara Reservoir, a key feature in the regulation of the Guadiana and the Montijo Canal. The Agrarian Reform Law of 1932 was also passed. The intended aims at that time were to control the winter floods, give uncultivated land to small farmers and provide infrastructures to irrigate land that was cultivated. Unfortunately, the coup d'etat of 1936 and the subsequent civil war 1936 to 1939 cut short the development of the works and the agrarian reform. However, once the war was over, the dictator Franco, 1939 to 1975, took over the previous plans and approved Plan Badajoz, which also included the electrification and industrialization of future irrigable areas. The works of Plan Badajoz were started in the 1940s. The plan was finished in 1975, by which time various reservoirs had been built and the works of irrigable areas in the upper and lower meadows of the River Guadiana had been finished. The plan also allowed for the establishment of 39 new villages. A significant number of farmers who came from unirrigated agriculture and on some occasions from non-rural spheres, which meant huge resources had to be invested in their training. Despite the huge work carried out, Plan Badajoz hadn't really dealt with the agrarian electrification and industrialization. As a result, the new irrigated farms were limited to producing raw materials. Despite this, Plan Badajoz laid the foundations for the subsequent development of irrigated areas in Estimadura after the start of democracy. Irrigated land has increased and been modernized in the last 40 years. Since the late 70s, 
the joint effort of the various administrations has focused on the improving the efficiency of water use, maintaining the water quality and training and raising the awareness of farmers in its rational use. Huge resources have been invested in the modernization of the transport networks and land distribution. Prioritizing the substitution of open for closed piping and the installation of local irrigation systems. In various irrigable areas, remote control systems have also been installed, which allow farmers to program irrigation via mo mobiles or the internet and real-time control of water delivered to the crops. All this would be of little use if we didn't pay attention to the human factor. If we didn't give farmers the necessary knowledge and information for water use to really be efficient. In this respect, the Estimadura Irrigation Advice Network, Redirex, and the Estimadura Irrigation Water Quality Network, Recarex, have been launched. As determining the water requirements of crops entails constant research work, over the last decades tests have been carried out by the research centre La Orden using the most modern techniques. However, th there is still a long way to go and the influential factors are so diverse that a multi-level information and management system needs to be installed. This is to say, a system that will provide decision-making support for the end users, the farmers, as well as for water managers, irrigation communities and hydrographic co confederations. The Pleiades project, which shares the develops these objectives, adopts a comprehensive approach to the management of water resources for agriculture. In 2007, the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development of the Regional Government of Estimadura Convinced of the need to improve irrigation efficiency in the region, decided to join the Pleiades project, designating two pilot study areas in the irrigable areas of Montico and Zuhar. The first has a gravity feed water distribution system, although some of farmers have privately installed drip irrigation systems, mainly for fruit trees and tomato crops. Although the irrigation system operates on shifts, the organization of the irrigation community allows great flexibility in the irrigation program. The irrigable areas of Zuhar have an on-demand pressurized irrigation system. The water is conducted through a canal to elevation towers and distributed by pipes. The irrigation communities which are collaborating in the development of Pleiades are the irrigation community of Montijo and the irrigation community of Zuhar. The main crops are corn, commercial tomato crops, peaches and plums with some rice as well. The development of pilot studies in both areas is the starting point for the comprehension management of water for agricultural uses via a web-based application called SPIDER. We are sure that the establishment of management systems that evaluate technical and environmental, economic and social aspects together with raising awareness in all sectors involved in water management is the base for the correct management of a resource which is as scarce as it is valued.